Hello, one and all, this is one of Tacos. Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. When we last left off, we were still in the middle of selling our goods, and we will continue to do so now. There were a couple of other things we wanted to get rid of. For example, we would like to identify and then get rid of this armor. A hundred gold is plenty to spare, considering I will make more than a hundred gold selling it back. Let's go ahead and sell that. Let's sell that battle axe. This generic copper necklace. That that potion is unidentified, which is interesting. I don't really want to identify it because I won't get any value of it because I don't intend to sell it, probably. This is an amulet. I don't know of it. Amulet of Acid Resistance. Interesting. It is possibly something to hold on to. How much is it worth? 705 gold pieces. It is worth 20 acid resistance. That's basically full on immunity to acid at that point. There are some things that will still hurt you, but not many. Let's see. Armor. Robe of Acid Resistance. That is pretty much useless to us. That we're going to get rid of. Because there is no situation where we would want to trade off our armor for that. The Dire Mace plus one we'll just get rid of. We now have 4,000 gold. And that is the Transport via Plants scroll. So now what I think I want to do is I want to organize my own inventory, look around this box a bit. I don't want to get too hoardy right out of the gate, but there will probably be opportunities where having uh, a necklace of acid resistance will come in handy. I won't lie. We will probably get use out of that. Guess we can just move that over. That's organized enough for now. Hello. And, whoops. Well, I could ask him some things. I could say I'm looking for premium equipment. I'm not sure what you're after, really. But my stock is the best you'll find for honest coin. You look like you really know your way around a weapon. Maybe I got something special for you. Take this ward stone. It will get you into the back room. That's where Merrick makes the good stuff. He'll take care of you. Wow! I didn't know anything about that. Um, okay. Well, we have a, a an actual thing. Where did you put it? I don't know. There it is. Um. Apparently, we can just go in somewhere else and buy other stuff. Interesting. Hello, Mark. Hello Merrick. there. <laughs> yes, what? Mark is busy here. I could ask him to make items for me. Just place one component item and one magical weapon, or one stuff of magic armor, or one suit of magic armor, sorry. Suit of magic armor on the forge, and I'll help you out. But if the forge isn't full, like now, I can't really do my thing, can I? If you want, I can look through your inventory and backpack to see if there's anything I can combine into a powerful weapon or suit of armor. Is there anything in particular you want me to look for? Interesting. What kind of things would component items be? Well, I need stuff like adamantine and ironwood and diamonds and dragon blood and fairy dust. Spit. And holy water and gargoyle skulls and, and adamantine. Then I take a magic version of the item you want made and combine the things to make something different. Interesting. Is the item guaranteed to be powerful? No. See, if your weapon or armor is really powerful already, you should keep it. Just give me your low-level magic items. I can't guarantee that your fancy items won't get worse. This is an interesting place to go to. Um, 
I'm not interested right now. I could ask them more questions. No. So basically, really the only point to coming here is making things out of components. If we actually want to buy stuff, we have to buy from this person, which is fine. Ah, uh, the frame rate's going to crap. That's unfortunate. Well, we have 4,000 gold, so there are things that we might want. We can take a look around. Perhaps his inventory has changed since the last time, though I doubt it. The boots of striding, I believe, are constitution. Yes. Constitution plus one. I don't remember if that'll do anything for me. I would need to look at my character sheet. No, it would buff my constitution to 15, which in the long run essentially means... Well, not in the long run. In the short term, it means nothing. Uh, really, things only change... Uh, when your numbers go up, and they only go up on even numbers, so 15 won't help me. Boots of Constitution plus 2 would immediately give me hit points and improve many of my saves, and even a few selects of my skills, but plus 1 isn't really that helpful. And for nearly half my money, I won't get much benefit out of it. I already have an archer's belt, but he has a greater archer's belt for way more than I have. <laughs> about about 22,000 more than I have, considering that's 26,000 and I have 4,000. We can look at what it does. Well, it gives us piercing resistance. Is that all it does? Oh, I thought it would improve our capability to be an archer. Oh, well, that's lame. Ugh, I should have known that. I was already wearing one. The bracers of dexterity would have immediate benefits over the gloves of discipline that we have. Because all that does is improve our discipline skill. And I don't think the discipline skill was doing anything for us. I can go look. I looked at it before, but... I'm forgetful. Yeah, it allows me to resist combat feats. It's not terrible, to be sure. But dexterity is what I live and die by. And having plus one dexterity would give me an immediate benefit. My AC would go up. My armor class would go up. Because my armor has a maximum dexterity bonus of four. And... My ability to hit would go up, since I'm using a ranged weapon, and my dex save would go up. So it would probably be more helpful for me in the long run, certainly. But, do I want to spend my money on that, or do I want to wait until I find something? Gauntlet to strength won't really help me. Any armor he has is pretty much guaranteed to not be helpful for me. Unless he's got like studded leather plus two, and even if he has studded leather plus two, I probably couldn't afford it. I already have a longbow plus one. Magic arrows are nice, but temporary, and if he has a magic longbow plus two, I couldn't afford it. I have a necklace of natural armor plus one, and I have... I believe that was just an aura of light? Yes, and then that one is a ring of protection. What does this do? That is also just light. They're cheap, but I have one for free. No need to waste money. The Ring of Crimson is also, I assume, a Ring of Light. He pretty much has nothing else we're interested in. Did I? S I guess I did sell him those books. <laughs> it really is a question of whether or not we want those bracelets of dexterity. Because this is adding plus six to our discipline skill. What is our discipline skill? Probably six, to be honest. It, it probably has nothing in it. No, it says nine. So we go down to three. Which, I mean, isn't garbage. To, like, in most instances, I'm ignoring combat anyways. That's kind of what Linu is for. 
But what are the odds we run into some gloves or some gauntlets of dexterity on my own? I'll wait for now. Probably shouldn't, but I will wait for now. For now, we will move on. Back to the dock district, I believe. We can go there on foot instead of having to spend the gold to teleport there. Our business in the docks is not quite finished. We have a little left to do. No. I will not give you anything, strange omnipotent voice. You don't even physically exist for me to give you any money. Back to the docks. Excellent. Yeah. Go around the box, please. Thank you. Right. We are looking for Kallik. And I believe we will find him in the sewers, which we were told to go to. I don't remember where they told us it was, but they did tell us it was somewhere. Let's try to find it on our own. Did I talk to you before? I greet you. Maybe I did. I think I did. What is this place? Well, whatever it is, it's locked. Calm down, Badger. See if I can give it open my own self. Success! It's not going to tell me what it is until we get in there, unfortunately. There we go. Aqueducts! And already, right in front of us, is a lieutenant. Hopefully, he's not a wizard monk. But we'll find out. Hello! Not going to talk to me? Fine, I'll talk to you. Hello. This is blood Santa territory, he says. Get out. No. Oh, no! An ambush! I actually did hit Ling Yu fairly hard. She's doing okay. I'd actually like to put my shots over... Oh. Well, this is going to suck. It's a good thing he can't hit me while I'm dazed. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, okay. I was a little over ambitious there. I admit that. Alright, this time we won't be as daft. Hello! Victory Pow! Well, that was a sneak attack. Also, they didn't spawn. Which means we can take this guy on a one-on-one -on -one fight. That's good. He does not appear to be a whiz monk. He does appear to be an extraordinary pain in the butt. But hopefully we will win this fight. Careful, then you. Don't get stuck in a healing cycle, because he hits you every time you try to heal. Nearly have him. Goddess, take you now. Huzzah! Victory. Let us loot him. Take his generic greatsword. It has sale value. We will leave. We'll step outside. We'll rest when there's no enemies nearby, resummon the badger, and move on. The badger makes excellent kill bait, so he's nice to have around. Although I admit it will be nice to be able to replace him when we have summoned monster 2. 
Come back to me, Badger. I should name you. Did I name you? I don't think I've named the Badger. I think I just call him the Badger. The Dire Badger. The Dire Badger of Vengeance and Constant Resummonance. And Surprise! Oh, they came from this side. I was gonna say, what are you guys attacking? There's nothing there. Wizard gotta go! Let's kill Wizard. I don't think I've hit the wizard yet. I'm gonna move. Did the badger just one hit kill the wizard? Well, that happened. Hello! They have another wizard. Go get him, Badger! The Badger! I cannot hit these guys. Like, at all. No, like, at all, at all. Ugh. Why can't I hit him? Are they using blur or something that reduces missile hits? Or shield? The spell, not the... The item. They're doing some kind of shenanigans. Well, that time I hit him! Who knows, maybe I'm just attacking too far away and the game just has trouble registering it or something. Don't know. Or maybe I was just rolling really bad. By rolling, I mean automatically generating hits really badly because, of course, there's no actual rolled dice in the video game. You could simulate rolling dice in a video game, but it's still not the same thing. I wish I could tell you to cast Bless. Hello, Charm! Alright, I want to hit you. The more targets that focus me, frankly, the better. At times, I've proven to have quite a high AC continued compared to Linear. See, this is going much more smoothly. Just, just be on me. Then you must have a very small amount of health. Because even the smallest hit seems to do massive damage. We'll get all the way over here and hit you. Stop it! Stop dazing me! I want to talk to the weird ferryman. Right. Nobody had any loot. A bunch of pirates and not a single gold coin among them. Well, I get a potion of bless. Because if Lin you can't do it, I'll have to do it myself. Speaking of that. Run button. Resting. It's pretty much fight, rest, fight, rest, fight, rest. Gots to have that badger. Badger time! Whoop. I said badger time! Huzzah! Now let's save, because that went quite well. And actually, let's end the video as well, before we talk to this guy. Thank you all for watching. I know it's a bit early. But thank you all for watching. This is Wunabataku signing off. I'll see you later. Take care, and bye-bye. Thanks for watching.